people. Kevin Durant's still one of the best players in the world. Oh, yeah. definitely. And he was, he mean, was still him, the best player on that Warriors team. Him healthy is the second best player in the world, easily. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they played a specific style of basketball that he liked. I mean, I think no one's criticizing for that. I think it's just the timing is a little awkward from what happened the year. Yeah, he's before. great. Nobody said. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think just nobody's saying he's not great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people who love to throw that narrative out. That, but Kevin Durant's not a great basketball player. There are a lot of people who, who feel that. There are a lot of people who feel that the, the championships are diminished because it's Golden State, even though he was back-to-back -back Finals MVP and the best player on the court. Well, the yeah. championships are somewhat diminished. Yeah. Because, but mean, he's still he's still the second best player in the world. They they just, how are we diminishing him then if he's still the second best player in the world? Because they might have won them anyway. They didn't yeah. win the year before he got there. They won. They won. They won, they won two won, years they before. The year before, they before. didn't. Yeah. They needed him to be great. They were yeah. good. They needed him to be special. I'm not arguing yeah. that he's the, he was the best basketball player on that team. But, but that doesn't necessarily mean so they his, needed him to win. Decision, the way that Obviously, he guaranteed it almost. Mm -hmm. You know, It, it would have been like the equivalent of if LeBron would have been like, all right, the Celtics bumped us. Now I'm going to go play with KG and Paul Pierce right. and these guys. Right. You know, he still at the end of the day, Miami. He was coming off of not making the playoffs, and they still had to, had to get together. Like you know, Golden State was already established; they were already the best team in basketball. Right. And then, and they just they just beat you. That, they, so that's more of where the, the the hate and the shade came from because of the fact that you just joined a team that beat you. But had yeah. had he joined the Spurs, he probably would have had a similar outcome to what he had in Golden State. And I don't think anybody would have really had a problem with it. But just the fact that he just coming off of losing to these guys. And right. I, and and I get that. So that yeah. To me, I give him the respect because he performed, right? We saw LeBron go to Miami that year. And even though for most of that season it was pretty easy for them because they were the best team, LeBron didn't perform in the finals. Kevin Durant went the opposite. Kevin Durant basically said, jump on my back, I'll carry us. Steph yeah. didn't shoot well in that finals. Yeah. Draymond wasn't really that good in that finals. KD took over. KD mm -hmm. said, I'm, I'm, I'm the man now. I'll take over. I'll make sure I carry us across the finish line. We've seen other guys go to these big moments and fold. Kevin Durant did. Mm -hmm. So Kevin to me, Durant that's why I respect. Great. Right, yeah, but, but that, the, that's well, why I respect. I mean, if he would have right. stayed healthy, they probably would have won. They would have won. They would have won. They would have won. But they also had 73 no, wins before that, so it's kind of like. There's no just, doubt he's a great player. They, second best in the world. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. To me, I just feel like it's, it's overblown the narrative. Oh, he went to Golden State. They were good, yes. He made them special. Okay, all championships aren't created equal. Right. If you would have won one in OKC, everybody should have and would have looked at it differently. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Just like right. LeBron's Cleveland championship outweighs the Miami two. Of course. Yeah. I, I agree that's with it. that. Yo, yeah. If Kevin Yo, Durant comes back and wins the rank for the Nets, LeBron's performance when KD and Kyrie got hurt, he should have won MVP of that series, even though yeah. they lost. Yeah. That performance was ridiculous and on an individual level. The first time level. they played them. Yeah. The first time they I don't know what JR them. was doing yeah. that day, yeah. but you know, oh, I mean. <laughs> they, they probably would have lost anyway, but yeah. that performance was ridiculous. Was Sometimes we don't remember that because he didn't win the, the championship. Right. Yeah. But you know, you know I mean? at the end of the day, you know, when we rank players at the end of their career or even at the end of the season, their rings is what we, is what we count. You know what I mean? Right. So it's like regardless of how the moves are made, when you look in the history of them, you're going to count those rings. So they, As part of it. As part of the puzzle. If he finishes with five rings, are you going to put him ahead of Kobe? Who? Kevin Durant. Like, like Robert Ory got 48 rings, but we don't put him in that conversation. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if, if, if KD were to finish with five, you're saying? Yeah, if, if he finished with five rings, do we elevate his career past Kobe's, who also finished with five I rings? Would. Oh, I KD? Would. Yeah. If Kevin I Durant, like, me personally, I like KD's game better than Kobe's game, me personally. But if, you, but if you're someone who says, all right, yeah, I know he got these, uh, these two in, uh, in, in Golden State. And, and so, are we going to take away from those? Because Kobe's five, he he didn't join yeah, the uh, seventy-three play, win team. But to play devil's advocate, Kobe's early rings were with a dominant Shaq. Shaq, Shaq had a finals where he averaged over thirty points, double-digit uh, double-digit rebounds, three rebounds, and three blocks. I'm not the biggest Kobe guy, but he did win a few without Shaq. You no, know, he a did. Couple. Yes, yeah, yeah. but just to play devil's advocate, if I want to say, oh, because KD won those two with Golden State, so those first two that Shaq was the MVP of the finals, but they came and was they, they demolishing came, they came, everyone. They came no, together, right? yeah. and the Lakers weren't already a powerhouse right. when they got together. And that, but that was a young Kobe that wouldn't have won those two without Shaq. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that I mean, third one, yes, Kobe was ready to win a, a title as the guy. Would, would but those first two, he wasn't ready. If you're just looking at, at, at the eye test, right, who's a better basketball player, Kevin KD Durant. or Kobe? Kevin Durant. I agree, man. And I love Kobe. The killer instinct Kevin is Durant. different. That's what Kobe right. had over everybody right. besides yeah. Jordan. But mm -hmm. but if you look at KD, man, at, on the eye test, he's probably like top three ever. Just like right. watching him play basketball, don't care about the stats or nothing. Seven feet, handle, right. shoot. You know Every, I mean? Everything it's, that he can do. Yeah. How did you feel about those comments that Kobe made recently about Shaq, about him not being... <laughs> I took it as a compliment. Too lazy and that if he would have... Yeah. I did too. He yeah. Kobe said, yo, if this guy would have worked 
like he should have worked, he would have been the greatest player ever. Like Shaq obviously didn't work like he was supposed to work, right. which is fine. He's still yeah. a top whatever seven five player I mean, ever. He still finished with four and that's rings, scary right? that he didn't even give it a hundred. But yeah. the thing that's is though, how he was. what Kobe doesn't understand is that not everybody could work like him. I actually had to do it on my podcast. PJ Performance, he's big in the athletic training world. Like genetic, also people think of genetics is just like jumping high and running fast, but it's also how hard you could work for the amount of time. Like if Shaq would have worked like Kobe, his knees would have probably been done. Right. He, yeah, probably he, have, he probably wouldn't have been yeah. right. even top 50 yeah. anymore. Right. He couldn't even he, play. He yeah. might have been Joel Embiid. Yeah, some he would have been a guy who was always hurt. Some people can't talented. work like that, right. you know? Yeah. You can't work like Kobe. Like if I work like Kobe, I probably wouldn't be able to play at all right now. Like, yeah. I mean, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, but, but Shaq admitted that himself because Shaq has always said, mm -hmm. I would work myself into shape as the season went on. Yeah. So I would come in about 15 pounds overweight. <laughs> and <laughs> come February, I'm in shape now for the playoff run. And yeah. now I'm dominating guys. But it worked for him. Different right. folks, different that. strokes. Yeah, yeah, he knew that. Because he was still averaging 27, 28 a game and, and, and 10 yeah. rebounds and two blocks. So yeah, it, it well, kind of yeah. really didn't matter. He could have done point. little things. He, he he didn't have to work like Kobe, but he could have done a little bit more in the offseason, stay in shape. Yeah, yeah. You you know, just, throws, maybe that He could have done like little professional right. stuff if he wanted to, not laid off the fast food just a little bit. <laughs> and it might have made it might have extended his career and his Absolutely. injuries wouldn't have came as early. You know what I mean? It would have helped him. Yeah. Would he work like Kobe? No, he'd kill himself. You know right. what I mean? Kobe just loved the game. I mean, yeah. we, we talked about it. Right. When, when we talked last week about Andrew Luck and there's certain guys who like Tom Brady loves the game. Yeah. They're guys who Obviously. just want to right. Who playing. just want to play. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other guys who like, yeah, I enjoy the game, but I'm not killing myself. I'm just it. talented. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. Kobe was killing himself up until his last day. Yeah. With the yeah. talent level. That right. He had, you yeah. Know? yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I mean, that's that's why he's ahead of most people who mm -hmm. that, that were in his, uh, his era of basketball because of that, though. For sure. It's a combination of his talent and, and, and his work out there. This is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought.